Greetings and welcome to another edition of Political Empire. I'm your host, Kim Pearsall with the Press Enterprise and PE.com. We're going to talk about how Riverside County has canned the Prop 30 initiative. And then we're going to talk about San Bernardino County's ballot. What's going on with a couple measures there, as well as who's running for that open supervisorial seat. So first, County cans Prop 30. Three of Riverside County's Board of Supervisors recently voted to oppose Governor Jerry Brown's tax proposal on the ballot, Prop 30, saying tax hikes wouldn't stop there. The two other supervisors, John Benoit and Bob Buster, abstained. Benoit said he was conflicted about Prop 30, not a fan of more state spending, but support supportive of a provision that guarantees funding for local public safety. And now we're going to catch up on what's been going on in San Bernardino County. Voters there will have the opportunity to decide between two measures that are going to be on the ballot, whether or not supervisors will pretty much make the same that they make now or they're going to make drastically less. Um, so we're also going to be talking about who's running for the supervisorial seat there. Rick Rowley or Robert Lovingood are the choices for an open supervisor seat there. Here to tell us more is San Bernardino County reporter Imran Gori. Imran, first tell us about the two ballot measures because both have to do with supervisors pay, but they're a little bit different. So break those out for us. Sure. Uh, those are measures Q and R. Uh, whichever one gets the highest majority would be the one that goes into effect. Now, Measure R was placed on the ballot by the two uh, largest unions representing county employees and would reduce uh, supervisors' total compensation, salaries, and benefits to $60,000 a year. Uh, they now make uh, $151,000 a year in salary uh, plus about $67,000 in benefits. Any indication as to which measure is is more popular at this point in time with voters? Uh, there's been no, well, the uh, union uh, backing uh, measure R say they have a poll that shows 78% uh, favorability for uh, measure R. Uh, and they feel measure Q, which was placed on the ballot by supervisors, might be an attempt to kind of muddy the waters a little bit because it would keep uh, their salary at their current level with a, with a slightly re re reduced uh, pay, it would take Los Angeles out of the formula of four counties that are used as the comparison. Oh, okay. And that's something that the city of San Bernardino kind of uses as well, is where they'll use these uh, comparison cities. So you use five, and then you kind of go from there to find some average salary. Um, interesting. So Measure R is the one that drops it down from 150000 or so to 60000 on average. Measure Q, though, would keep it just about the same, but take Los Angeles County yeah, out of the equation. If, and it's based on a formula, so it could change year to year. But uh, if it would go in effect uh, today, it would be about a $9,000 uh, annual reduction in pay. Okay. Oh, well, thanks for the update on that. And curious about the open seat on the supervisor's dais. So uh, when Brad Mitzelfeld decided to run for a seat in Congress, he vacated his District 1 seat. Uh, now, who's running and what's going on there? What are the issues with that District 1 seat? Well, uh, in the 1st District, which is the high desert uh, district all the way up to the uh, Nevada border, we have uh, Rick Rowley, a uh, Apple Valley councilman, and uh, Sheriff Lieutenant running against uh, Robert Lovingood, an Apple Valley businessman. Uh, they're both kind of emphasizing their respective backgrounds. Uh, Lovingood is talking about business, the need for jobs. Uh, Rowley's uh, kind of the public safety candidate. He has the backing of the sheriff and the DA, and he's kind of putting out a tough on crime message. How did each fare during the primary? Uh, pretty evenly, 20, 21 percent. I don't remember who got what, but there were there were seven candidates, so uh, nobody got a large majority in that uh, June primary. Interesting. Well, Imran, thanks so much for the update on everything that's been going on in San Bernardino County. And thank you for watching another edition of Political Empire. We'll see you on Monday.